Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And as you see, our topic today is very important. It's about everybody dancing. And I hope that will bring a lot of viewers because we are in the world where everybody has become a pervert. And if you have an icon or a thumb of a woman showing her ass or some boobs coming out, you will see every pervert in the world he clicked to watch. But if you have a topic which is really important, very sensitive, and we need to care for, few people come to join. So this is why, you know, I came here, I see, the, you know, the topic is about the mother, but we have a few people coming to watch. But if we would be dancing, let us see what will happen. Especially that will work later. However, the topic is not too much far from belly dancing because Muslims, they always do belly dancing when they speak about their cult. So one of you, he sent me a message uh, saying that uh, a Muslim told him or her uh, that uh, uh, Islam's teach that the heaven is under the feet of the mothers. First of all, there is no such a hadith in any authentic book says the statement, the heaven under the, the feet of the mothers. There is no such an authentic hadith. And actually, we can prove it in two seconds. This is very easy, you know. Um... Uh, you can search right now and you will find that this has never been, never even exist. Uh, there is other hadith, which is a Muslim man, he came to Muhammad. Uh, and you will notice that even the hadith does not make sense. Uh, showing that the evil of Islam and how Muhammad, he have a gang. So if you see here with me, this is the, the hadith, which is the Muslim try to take the cheese from it. But the other hadith does not even exist. This is not even in any. You see, if you search uh, the heaven under the feet of women in this website, you will not find it for a very simple reason. Because this website have all the authentic hadith books. So we will not find this hadith, but we will find this one. This one says, A man he came, he wanted to join uh, to do ghazu. Ghazu, which means uh, piracy, theft, to attack the neighbors and take their money. This is what ghazu mean. You can ask anyone. What Razu mean? Razu is attacking your neighbors to steal their women, their money, their property, uh, their animals, anything. So a man, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, I want to go out for fight. That's false. It doesn't say for fight, for jihad. It says for Razu. Do you see it? Aratu and Aghazu. But I'm glad that the Muhammadan they translate it as Aghzu, as Jihad, because simply Jihad, obviously nothing but a theft and a piracy. So this guy came to Muhammad and he said to him, I want to do Ghazu. Muhammad, he said to him, do you have a mother? He said, yes. He said, then stay with her, for paradise is beneath her feet. That is where the source of this coming from. Okay, what does that mean? Nothing. Nothing. Stay with her. Or, so Muhammad is saying the guy stay with her. So isn't it Muhammad is the same guy who says the one who go and do jihad is the first one to be in the highest floor in heaven? Obviously this guy, most likely, he is not capable of fighting and he will die immediately. So Muhammad, he want to get rid of him. So he cannot divide the shares. Because what happened in the time of Muhammad, there is many, they want to say, okay, we want to join in the, in the ghazu which is in the attack, so they can get their shares. But they are not really capable of fighting. So the one who is capable of fighting, they are the one who made victory, and those are just numbers. So Muhammad tried to get rid of them. But just to show you that if Muhammad really cared for the mothers, then Muhammad shouldn't say what he said. Who is a Muslim who he claimed that the heaven is under the feet of the mother. How? If the mother herself is not going to be heaven. Isn't it Muhammad himself is the one who said to the mothers, most of you will be in hellfire? So if you ask what is the meaning of that hadith about heaven is under her feet, Muhammad is just saying to him, take care of your mother.
but the mother herself, she will go to hell. This is what Muhammad said to the Muslim women, and all of them, they are mothers. I mean, at that time, there is no way a woman, she will not be a mother unless she cannot have kids. You know? Uh, you are, you know, like maybe now, some people don't get married, etc. But in the old days, you know, women, they get uh, married very uh, early. And having children actually is security. So they can be taken care of when they are old. This is for the mother and the father. They, you know, this is why you see in the Middle Eastern countries, families, they have a lot of kids, not because they love kids, but this is their security. Security for war, security for safety, security for finance, security uh, uh, for disability when they are unable to work. So the mother and the father, they will have many kids. And if everyone of them give them little support, they will be able to maintain their life. Same time, their kids will protect them from any harm. So here you see Muhammad is speaking the opposite about the mothers. He says that the majority of women are going to be in hellfire. So you ask any scholar, he will say to you that you go to heaven if you take care of your parents. But the mother, she is not going to heaven. And as you see, this is what Muhammad said. Muhammad said, oh women folk, I should, you should give charity. Be diligent. And seek Allah forgiveness. So he's speaking to group of people who they are, you know, identified by the gender, not by anything else. They are women. And Muhammad continues saying, because I have seen Muhammad when he went to heaven, supposedly in the top of flying donkey, he's seen in heaven that the uh, 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 and he's seen hell and heaven. So he's seen that the majority of people who will live in hell are women. Do you see it? And a Muslim, he might say, this is not necessarily, he's not talking about women, uh, Muslim women. No, he was talking to Muslim women. This is, a, this is a statement. He is asking Muslim women to give him a charity, pay him money, and then the women, they start giving their earring and their bracelet, and then suddenly they will go to heaven. But how we can confirm that Muhammad is speaking about women, that they are evil and they will go to hell? Isn't it Muhammad, he said, and I challenge any Muslim to print what I will show in the screen and put it in the top of his mother bed or his mother grave sign. Remember, this is the same man that Muhammad and they come to us with and saying, oh, he says the heaven is under the feet of the mother, which is not absolutely, this is false. The hadith they are quoting is not even exist in any authentic, uh, 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 even I can show you fatwa, they say this is the hadith is not authentic. However, the meaning of it is authentic. And they use the other one in a Turmudi to say this is what it's meant. However, look with me. Muhammad, he saw a woman walking by, walking down the street, and he got so horny like an animal you know like a donkey you know i remember once i was a i was a, i was a kid and my dad he took me uh, to, uh, to the field and he wanted to uh, like to make me happy he have a like a present for me or something nice so there's a black horse very beautiful horse so i was excited i jumped in the top of the horse and then not even few minutes after a female horse show up i was a kid i have no idea what's happening this horse went so crazy I don't want to tell you what, what is the next. So this is Muhammad. A woman, she is walking down the street. She is not wearing a bikini. She is a Muslim woman walking in the city of Mecca. She is not naked. She is not putting makeup. She is not dancing. She is not moving her ass left and right. She is just walking down the street, as the hadith says. Muhammad, he went to his wife and he forced her into sex while she was doing uh, leather tanning and then he came back and now he is giving himself an excuse for why he got horny and he went to his wife he says the women she approach in the image of the devil and she leave in the image of the devil now who is a Muslim he want to say that to his mother how the how the women she is the devil and how the mother 
the heaven is under her feet? The answer is very simple. Muhammad is saying, take care of your mother so you can go to heaven. Don't be a bad person. That's wonderful. But Muhammad is just copying the Bible. In fact, in the Bible, we have very serious crime, which is the punishment is death. If you mistreat your parents, death, not beating, not jail, not insult, death, literally death. There is no penalty, there is no punishment in the whole Quran for you beating your mother or beating your father or insulting them. In fact, Muhammad is insulting every mother, claiming that every woman is nothing but a devil. If you read with me carefully, you will see that he did not say this woman, he says the women. The women, any woman advances and retires in the shape of the devil so what is the problem with this you know this person nothing except she is a woman so how the mother she is your way to go to heaven but your mother she will be in hell and she is the devil who of you Muhammad and dare to print a sign and give it to your mother in the mother day and say to her, I have a beautiful quotation from Prophet Muhammad. And you know Prophet Muhammad never lie about you. And give her this. I'm sure your mother, she will be so happy and she will be so proud of you and what your false prophet said. And look what Muhammad, he said. And if a woman, if a man, he see woman, he should come to his wife for that will reveal what he feel in his heart I think Muhammad is speaking about the, the wrong organ because what you feel is not in your heart you liar it is in your penis secondly how you are saying that the women she advance as a devil and live as a devil and now the solution is the devil are you following with me so the women she advance as the devil she retreat as a devil and now you go to the women so she can fix your problem. This is what he just said. He did not advise them to stay away from women because they are the devil. He is advising them to do the opposite. Muhammad, he even called his mother Najis. He said that his mother, she is filthy. She is literally filthy. The Quran says, وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ نَجِسٌ The mushrikeen, the polytheist, they are najis. But Muhammad and mother and father both are najis. Muhammad insulted his parents heavily. He is not only saying that they are going to go to hell, he is calling them filthy. Najis. Do you see it? And the Muslim translation here is impure. That's a false translation, najis, uh, like a Muslim when he have sex. That is najasa, he have to wash, supposedly. But remember Muhammad, he go have sex with 13 wives without washing, and he take, he take a wash at the end, like a pig. And here you notice that Muhammad is warning us about women, how evil they are. They will go to heaven, sorry, they'll go to hell. They are the devil, yet he want to have as many as he can as the Quran tell us. Here you see a pig behavior. Have you ever heard of a man he have sex with all his women, regardless how many he have, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, this guy is a pig. And then he only wash once. And remember, women are shaitan. That's what he said. He said, women, 
comes in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil. But who is the devil who is doing intercourse with the devil? It's not the women going after him to have intercourse with him. It is him. And the Muhammadan they claim that he is doing that in one night. The Prophet used to have intercourse with his wives one after another with a single bath. If this is true, obviously Muhammad was a beast. Even pigs don't do that. And yet he is claiming women for being women. So when a Muhammadan speak about respecting women, that is false, my friend. Isn't it the Quran says beat them? So who of you want to tell us like you beat your wife, you respect your mother? But isn't it your wife is a mother? <laughs> Are we listening, guys? If I respect my mother, then I should not follow the Quran. Because if I respect my mother, that means I should respect every mother. But the Quran teach me I can beat my wife, which is the mother of my son. So I did not respect the mother. And then the Muhammadan, they tried to fix it in the translation. So they start adding things. As an example, as a woman, as, as you see here, chapter 4, verse number 34, as those women who, uh, who is part, you see, ill conduct. And then a Muhammadan, like maybe hijab in an interview with the dean, stupid dean show, he said to them, what if your wife, she is trying to kill your son? What do you do? Kill your son? What are you talking about? I mean, do you see how they try to execute, give a false excuse? Kill your son. This is about killing the son. They love to lie. And now look at the translation. Admonish them first, but there is no Quran says first. Next, refuse to share bed with them. That's false. It says jail them in their rooms. And then they say third, beat them lightly. Where is the word lightly and where is third? All of this is a false translation. You change the translator, you will find a new Quran. Just to change the translator. Don't change the Quran. This is the same Quran. As for those whom you fear rebellion, fear, they are not doing anything yet. Admonish them and banish them in beds apart and scourge them. So heaven is under the feet of your mother, but you beat your wife, which is a mother. So maybe by beating her, you go to heaven. So what we change, we change the position. I beat my wife and my son respect the wife I just did beat. <laughs> you know the joke? This is the Islamic society. So the father, he beat the wife. The son have to respect their mother. But the son, one day, he will get married and he will do the same. He will beat his wife and he will ask his son to respect his mother. The Islamic view of the mother and the women that they are equal to goats. We can beat them to correct them. Like you have a donkey. The donkey want to go right, you want to go left. What do you do? You hit him with the stick. So the purpose of beating women, actually there's a video in, uh, in YouTube. You can watch it from the TV, the official government TV of Qatar. The sheikh in the video, he said, the women... They are the same as a car you buy. They come with manual, and the manual is the Quran. And the Quran says, beat them. The manual, the same as a car you buy, it comes with the manual. And the manual is the Quran for us, and the Quran says, beat them. 
You can search right now for video Sheikh from Qatar official TV. I forgot the name of the Sheikh, but you will see the sign of Qatar TV in the corner. You can find the video in uh, what is the name of this station? Uh, it's a project, you know, to translate Islamic videos. Uh, hold on. Let me find it. I will not play it because, you know, they are filthy, they flag my videos. Actually, I'm sorry, uh, memory TV, memory TV. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm searching for the thing and I found here in the memory TV different video. This guy is teaching the Muslims how to beat your wife. So he brought a child and he is telling them how you beat your wife. Okay, this is how you beat your wife. For sure, even that beating is false. But uh, let me see if I can find. Qatari socialist uh, wife beating. Uh, Qatari beating wife. Okay. Yeah, maybe this one. Let us see. Yeah, I think this one. I will give you. I will give you the link. I found the video. Memory TV, all right. And he is telling the Muslims, why are you are ashamed of saying, yes, we beat them. Say it, yes, we beat them. Because when you purchase an electric app appliances or a car, do you see what he's saying? This is in the official government of the scumbag. They call him a prince of Qatar, the one, the world, because they, they, you know, he bribed. They have money. They did the football game in their country. This is how diluted, false, this business of the World Cup, money. If you buy a car or electric appliances. What do you get? You get a manual with it. Explaining to you how to use it. And the manual is the Quran. Why shouldn't we, you be ashamed before the nation of the world? Why are you ashamed to say, yes, we beat them? We must remind the ignorant from among the Islamic nation who follow the West that those Western acknowledge the wondrous nature of this verse. They acknowledge it. The Western, they, they appreciate it. There's a three type of women whom life is impossible with without beating. <laughs> Life with them is impossible without beating. So we respect women. We respect the mother. But she is the devil and we beat her. And she is the same as a car or electric appliances. The majority of women, they will go to hell. Women, she advance and retire in the shape of the devil. Women, she is the same as electric appliances. When you buy a car or a stove, it comes with the manual. And the Quran is the manual. It says beat them. And then those fools try to fool you because many of you are fools who you believe what they say. 
If I go right now and search in Google for verses about the mothers, you will see this is what the Bible says about the mothers. Amazing stuff. The punishment is death. Death. Not any punishment, but death. Death in earth and death in hereafter, which mean hell. What Muhammad he do to protect the mother? And instead, actually, he raped mothers. He take them from their families. Most of the women, actually, they are in his bed. They are wives of men. He send them to war so they can die. The same as he did to his son, Zaid. But he did not die. So at the end, he have to force him to leave his wife. We have a Muslim trying to contact us. Let us see. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? <laughs> uh, satanic, uh, you know, like, like their prophet. Did you hear the, did you hear the laugh of Fakira? <laughs> she changed her voice in the beginning. Hello? <laughs> oh, nobody heard you, donkey. <laughs> oh, boy. Potato. So this is a very disgusting garbage cult and I I am surprised that after all the teaching we share with you you don't know how to answer such a stupid claim so you respect the mother but you beat the mother so you respect the mother but she will go to hell you respect the mother but you call your mother Najis as Muhammad did to his mother his father so you respect the mother but you say we can beat them so you respect the mother but you take the child she is a female she is six years old to make her wife how in the world any stupid can argue claiming that Islam respect women because the mother at the end of the day is a woman does Islam respect women this is the question the Satan Muhammad and he have seeds they try to follow the naive to fool the naive of you and sadly, there's a lot of naives, a lot of donkeys. They don't want to read. Yeah, somebody made a video. You believe it. Don't believe what I say. Check it out. Anything I say to you, check it out. You see, I say there is a, the video, the Muslim teaching in the mosque. In the, this is the government TV of Qatar. Let me show you even the sign of the TV. Check it out. When you click at the video, you will see the sign of the TV. The logo, it's in the corner here, in the right corner down in the bum. This is the official Qatari TV. This is the TV owned by the government. This guy is not a YouTube guy speaking from his ass. This guy is speaking from the ass of the Prince of Qatar, from the money of the Prince of Qatar, which is a theft from the people of the Middle East. This is what they say about your mother. She is the same as appliances. The same as you buy a car, she come with manual. And there's three kinds of women, it's impossible to live with them without beating. So in order to live with those women, you have to beat them. And the question is, why you want to live with them? What if the man is impossible to live with? Can a woman beat him? No. Why she cannot? How many donkeys there is in the Middle East? In, starting from this donkey. I mean, imagine, I feel so sorry for this woman. She lived with such a donkey, son of Muta. Teaching violence against mothers. We posted the link already. You are asleep. How many times I need to post the link? So when a Muhammadan he say to you what he say, open your mouth. You learned enough. You have a lot of reference. You have enough to make him shish kebab. Don't let, don't let them fool around. Don't play dumb and stupid.
I said a hundred time don't send me messages if you are Christian in Skype let me block you we open this stupid Skype so Muslim can call me when I say Christian can call me you can call me only don't chat with me I don't want to chat with people you want to chat the chat is there I am not Prophet Muhammad to do private consultation for you. The Prophet of Allah, he can do private consultation if you pay him. That's not me. Go find Muhammad, you give him consultation money, and then he will consult for you, as the Quran said. So I don't want to keep you long. I just want to share with you how easy to debunk such a claim, which is nothing but a lie. This man, there's nothing good of him. All religion around the world, even the one if they are false, they say, respect your mother. Muhammad don't. Muhammad insult your mother. Muhammad claimed that your mother is the devil. This is what Muhammad mean. I mean, what he want. You see, uh, if we go in the Bible, if you try right now to search what the word Eve, what the word Eve mean? Anyone knows? Anyone knows what the word Eve mean? Who want to help me? My friend, we are using the Arabian prophet. We just changed the name. And who care if I'm using Arabian prophet or not? Are you a person who followed the logo? Not the person? Why people are weird? What are you are going to use Arabian prophet again? This is Arabian prophet. Anyone can tell me what Eve mean? Eve mean Adam? Since when? Eve means the mother of all living. Eve is the mother of all living. Muhammadan, because they copy from the Bible, they do not know what those words mean. They are thieves. So if we go to the Muhammad, look what Muhammad will say. Muhammad claim that every woman is a whore because of Eve. Am I lying? Here we go. Read it. Reported Allah Messenger saying, I had not had it not been Bani Israel, no meat would have been go gone bad. So Muhammad he hated the Jews and he made the Jews and the women is the same. The Jews, Jews are bad, women are bad. And if not Eve, no women will betray her husband. Do you see it? If you go right now and search in Google what the Bible say about the mother, you will find amazing verses. Not only Eve is the mother of all living things. We have many special things about mother and women. We have women, they are prophets in our belief. Prophets and judges. We have the blessed Mary. What do you know about respecting mother Muslims? Muhammad, he insulted his father and he said he is filthy, is najis, same as his mother. Abi wa abu kafinnar. My father and your father is in hellfire. Do you see it? That is your religion. So don't let those cowards fool you. Kabich. So this is how you see how easy it is to spank the lies of the Muhammadan about respecting the mothers because mother Islam are the fuel of hell. The majority of women 
are going to go to hell. The woman is someone you can beat. You don't respect your mother and you, you watch your dad beating your mother. There is no man. He will claim that he is a good man and he approve that there is a book says somebody can beat my mother because he married her. Because remember, the husband right now, he might be even not your father. He must be, he might be a stepfather. Will he have the right to beat the wife? You have to sit watching like a puppy. In fact, the Hadith says, no man should be questioned for why he is beating his wife. Should not be even questions. If you don't believe me, let me show you the Hadith. Should not be questioned. Which means if you call the police and you say to them, you live in the Middle East, my husband is beating them. You say, so what? We cannot question even why. He have the right to beat you. No man shall be questions for beating the wife. Read it. Read it. I'm not the one who's saying that. This is your stupid of a prophet. This is your garbage. So when they lie to you, depend on how educated you are, they can fool you. However, if you are not educated, blame yourself, because obviously you are a puppy. Anyone can fool you, anyone can lie to you. You are the same as any creature, like a dog, you know? They put a bone in front of him, and all what you see in the world, just the bone. You don't notice that the bone was a, an animal before. And somebody killed the animal. All what you focus now is in the bone. Even if the bone maybe is the bone of your mother. Because now you want to eat the bone. You are hungry like a puppy. But maybe this is the bone of the shoulder of your mother. Somebody slaughtered your mother and he gave you her bone. So you can live like a dog. And that's what Muhammad tried to do. In one hand he tried to make himself like he is the man. He is the guru. He is the guru of wisdom. But this idiot, he is very filthy. He destroys society. He made women as a subjugation for sexual toys and sexual abuse. Women subjugated, subjugated to be beaten, not respected. Before Muhammad, Khadija, she was a businesswoman. After Muhammad, Khadija is in the box. Before Muhammad, women, they used to be goddess. Listen carefully. Goddess, not only respected, they used to be goddess. Isn't it the Quran says that the Arab worshipped the three daughters of Allah? They worship them. The Arab before Islam, they never look at the women as a piece of garbage. Islam came and Islam starts saying things about women. Even angels cannot be females. The Quran says what? Angels and they are female? Chapter 16 verse number 57 says, And they made for Allah female daughters. In Arabic it says banat. You see it? The Arab before Muhammad, they have gods who they are females. After Muhammad, this is the religion of the male. Allah is male, Jibreel is male, Muhammad is male, and every female will go to hell. If we ask the Muhammadan, what is the gender of Allah? Anyone can tell me? Yeah, Aisha, she said that 
the most abused women is a Muslim woman, and this is in her time. If you remember the story of the man he did beat his wife until he made her skin greener than her clothing. Aisha, she said, look, look, her skin is greener than her clothing. What, what, why, why it's green? Because the husband did beat her. Muhammad took the side of the husband. And she said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. So Aisha, she is witnessing the most suffering women is Muslim women. Do you see it? Beat them until their skin is green. And then you will see Abdul in YouTube saying to you, beat them lightly, you know, brother, lightly. Hmm. Queen saying, uh, I was beaten by my father and my ex-husband used to strangle me and it is actually not funny, but I forgive you. I don't know you are talking to who, lady. Well, you see, you have to defend yourself. If you allow it, it's going to happen. But I understand not every woman, she have the opportunity to defend herself. But if you live in a country where you have the right to call the police for such an abuser, call the police immediately. Never tolerate such an idiot because if you don't stop him he will keep doing it if you say oh i'm not going to you know he would the police will take him you know you're like you like you know uh, you get angry when he beat you and then you know he give you some candies like a kid and you forgive him that's mean stupid you're stupid he beat you once you stop him in the spot if he repent and if he decide not to do that again to behave like a human being that's good. If you do it again, will he deserve what is going to come to him? It is you women who allow him to do that to you if you don't stop him. The same as anything in this earth. There's evil, there's bad, there's good. There's many people they love to take advantage, not just because you are a woman, anyone. So if people allow other people to take advantage of them, of them you know, blame yourself. Or you did not stand for your freedom and your right if you agree to be a slave you are a slave if you agree to be a donkey anyone ride you you are a donkey fight for your right and if a man he want to treat you like a dog well he is the dog he don't deserve to live with him and leave him and by the way not only men they beat women as i showed you just a few days ago if you remember that the major major number of uh, uh, domestic violence as an example in morocco is women beating men the major domestic violence in morocco is women beating men but this is against Islam because in Islam the man can beat the women, not the women can beat Islam. But because they are mostly women, men they are small and women are so big, I guess. I'm just guessing, you know, because I, I don't know why the women they are so, uh, the, the men are so much intimidated there. Uh, uh, let me let me find you the. This is not only in Morocco, many many Islamic countries, women, even they made a, they made a, the, the men they made a, like a, a club, or let us say a, a human right club for men to protect them from women abuse. This is the CNN. I don't care if it's a CN or not, but I search for the news, you know. Uh, I will use Google Translation. So you will see that this is about thousands of cases of women assaulting men in Morocco and the victim suffering physical harm. So it's not always the man is the one who beat women. There's women, especially in those countries, 
Men, there are potatoes. Maybe they have mustache, they have a beard, they go outside, they claim to be something, but inside the house they are washing dishes and they are doing laundry and they are changing diapers. So in the appearance in Islamic countries, men are in control, but in reality, the one in control is women. This is why you see Muhammad himself, when he have a fight with his wife Aisha and Hafsa, he asked for the help of Allah and Jibreel and every Muslim believer and furthermore all the angels standing with him to fight what? Two women. So may Allah have mercy on those Muslim women from the women beating in the Morocco and Egypt and Tunisia, etc. All right. Everything we say, we give a proof for it and we don't make things up. This is how stupid this cult. So don't make them fool you. I don't want to keep you longer. And you guys, you fail uh, to bring Muslims to debate me. You are not sharing my videos enough. And YouTube is trying to fight my videos. So don't they don't send notification for people when I go live. And you people are not doing your part. So I really appreciate you all for doing nothing. Thank you very much. However, I do my part. And the Lord is my witness. I want to say thank you for everybody who care. And until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud. And we prove it, prove it every day. Take care.